Hello guys and welcome back to another brand new video here today upon my channel guys. Today my friends we're diving back into Call of Duty World War 2, back onto the multiplayer map V2 and we're going to be using the Wafi 28 SMG. I see it is, it's a gun that I'm trying to get to its gold camo unlock at the moment so I see it is, I thought you know what I'm going to use this gun today. But most importantly it's not about the gun. It's about the camo I've got on this weapon today. Because obviously, oh, Sledgehammer Games have implemented yes. quite a lot of good camos into this game every so often. And I just want to showcase them in videos. Even if they are not the most best sort of looking camos. But this camo, as you can see, is called Pot of Gold. You know what I mean? And when it comes to things like leprechauns and stuff, they always say the this conspiracy behind leprechauns is, you know, finding a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. And, you know, to say, my friends, we find this a little wee bit funny. You know what I mean? Trying to impose the Irish accent there. Just trying to... Nice. Just trying to pop them off. Um, but I see it as... I just thought, you know what, I'll showcase these camos as well as videos. So that you guys can see what the camos look like. In case, of course, you know, you're probably new to the game. Or you haven't seen what the camos are like. Or maybe you just never used them. Maybe you've just not got around to using them. And obviously I know a lot of people probably won't use the camos as much. Because obviously the paint job system that's in the game at the moment. Which I might... As a video at some point in the future, I might make a camo using the paint job system to showcase as a video on how the paint job system works in case for people, you know, who have not bought this game yet and are curious about this sort of thing. If you'd like to see that sort of thing in the future, let me know. Let pop, 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 pop. There we go, got two kills right now. Chucking down a care package. Just grenade spam. Spam arm. <laughs> I'm just not going to kill anyone from that range. Right, let's go and get my care package. This is mine. Let's push up, push up. Damn it. <laughs> I was getting popped off right now. So, yeah, with this gun, I'll admit. It's a good gun to use. It's very good if you want to wipe out multiple enemies in one go. But with the gun itself, it's it's very jumpy. It's very inaccurate. Like, it's good for hit firing. It's got the fire rate, don't get me wrong. Nice. Um, but it hasn't got the accuracy. I find it's really jumpy. The recoil is all over the place. But, I don't know. I do like the gun. And I see it as I'm generally looking forward to trying and get this gun to its gold camo form. Because I feel like in my eyes it'll be an accomplishment since it's not a gun I tend to use quite a lot of. But, I'm looking I'm looking forward to it boys. It's going to take a bit more time. At the moment, coming to the time of recording this video. When it comes to this weapon. I see it as I've just managed to finish doing all the headshot challenges. Except for, I think I've got like one or two more headshots to do. Somewhere like that. Damn it. But we are getting the UAVs in and the counter UAVs in. So let's get these bad boys in the game. Just grenade spam across the map. Nice. Right. Let's keep pushing up, pushing up. It's to push into their spawn area as well. Ooh. Oh, as if the enemy was there. Fair play. But let me know down below in the comment section, guys. Have you got the Waffy 28 to its gold camo form or even diamond camo form yet? Let me know. And also, let me know, do you use the camos that Sledgehammer Games have implemented into the game? Like the Tiger camo or the Pot of Gold camo, for instance, like I'm using on this weapon right now. Like, in my opinion, the camo isn't really the most good-looking camo. It's like, it's nice, but it's not the most attractive camo to look at. But I do like it, you know what I mean? That's why I wanted to showcase it. Cheeky. Right. Come on, Aaron. Chuck a few grenades in the area. Grenades, bam. Ooh, come on, Aaron. Ah, oh, I tried to jump shot him. Fair play. grenades across the map. That's the thing where I love about this map. You can literally grenade spam the map. Nine times out of ten, if you throw grenades across, you're going to hit someone. Nine times out of ten. Oh my days. No, no, no. I've been shot at. 
Oh, fair play. Me, literally, how come my team members always do that though? When I play hardcore, my team members always kill me. So annoying. Push up to where they are. There we go, it's one. Let's push up, push up, push up. That's two. That's three. Let's go go for the cheeky four then, but fair play. That's one. 26 and 9 right now. I think we're doing pretty good. There we go, my friends. Asitas, it wasn't the best result, but Asitas, I think it's a nice little gameplay to showcase this camo off, the pot of gold camo. Obviously, this camo and the blind luck camo did come into the game during the St. Patrick's event of Call of Duty World War II, but I just wanted to showcase them in a video. Like, I just want to show you guys what they look like in case you, you know, you've never used them. But let me know down below in the comments section. What do you think of them, guys? Do you still use these sort of camos? Do you use the camos that Sledgehammer Games have implemented into the supply drops? Or do you use just the paint jobs system where you can customize your own camos? Let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions, what you think of them, guys. Have a marvelous day, and I'll see you again real soon upon another brand new video.